Oh, here we are. So we got a uh, puzzle by Rebecca Goldstein, uh, edited by Mr. Shorts as usual. It's Saturday in the Common Era, September 2nd, 2023. And let's get into this grid. Let's have some fun with it today. What are we going to have? We're going to have a challenging Saturday or we're going to have an ugly Saturday. Let's see. Ready to start solving? Well, let's do it. So a no-brainer. Hmm. Hmm. Irradiates. Words that might be followed by here, here. How about a toast? Start with a toast. Uh, oh, Bastille de Sasson et. Gives me summer in French. A toy that's not really a toy. Irradiates. Let's go with zaps. <clears throat> Uh, Platte Valley people. Oh my God. I never remember this. It's either Oto or Utes. It's an O, no brainer. Let's go with zombie on this one. Let's see what we got on the zombie. And let's see, toy that's not really a toy. Well, we know this is going to be Oto. I think it's going to be Oto. Uh, toy that's not really a toy. Let's go with a toy poodle. Yeah, that wouldn't be a real toy. It would be an actual life that you have to take care of. It has triangular blades. Um, that's a that's a sedge. It's looking like. So they might go to extremes. Let's try some mood swings here. Um, not needing to work. No idea. Well, means of gaining access. Probably a badge. <clears throat> not needing to work. Let's see. Munch of Tonga. Those are islets or islets depending on how you pronounce it uh, set, set, um, some greek cheeses let's go with fetas not needing to work let's go with set for life i mean it seems like a good clean thing herd buffalo bob herd buffalo bob um I don't know. Susceptible to burning in a way. Gets in a lather. Maybe foams, maybe? That might be a little too... That might be a little too easy. I, I'm not sure. Um, um, herd Buffalo Bob. <sighs> That seems, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Top selling concession item at San Francisco's Oracle Park. <clears throat> Lost at strip poker. Got, so it's not new, it's not going to fit. Let's try naked here. Pepper with a delayed fuse. I can't, gosh, if that's habanero, serrano. I, I know I'm, if it's a serrano, S going down gets dirty soils. Maybe. Does that fit there? Susceptible to burning in a way? So fair skinned. Um, let's see. Eponymous German bacteriologist. That's Petri. Where Petri is where we got our Petri dish. Mental peace. A uh, seabird that can be tufted or horned. That's the uh, set for it's a P. Um, Puffin. Those are puffins. Horned puffin or the tufted puffin. I'm not a birder. I have nothing against them. I just don't know. Okay, so mantelpiece, probably an urn. And this is looking like it is Serrano. So what do we got here? If that's indeed the, the deal. Okay, hot. Probably a hot mess. Let's see. Cinematic specification frame something frame so let's go with hot mess is that what we got here quick greetings nods good morning good morning good morning and agnes in argentina okay some portuguese enos good name for a gallery opening a go open let's a gallery owner let's go with Artie. right i mean i guess that'd be a good name i i guess fuss over 
Flies like flies. If this is an S, I think it swarms. A uh, quake. Fuss over. Fawn over? Fawning over? Uh, is it frame time? Uh, I think it's that W. This is swarms. So what do we got? Um, perfume part. It's Esther, I think. Just the check. Just the check. Uh, I'm paying. Let's see. Statement from someone you should probably respond to with criticism, skepticism. So, um, top selling concession item. Is this like a garlic something? Uh, herd, buffalo. A bob of seals. Okay, got it. Over oh, sharing alert, probably TMI, I'm guessing. A uh, call from a server, maybe. Oh, world's first black lead republic. Good Lord, I should know that. Um, half a laugh. Looks like it's going to be a haw. Um, is it Haiti? Let's see. Call from a server. Ah, atin, atin. Okay, got it. Got a lot of French in this one today. Um, I'd do it again. No, no, no regrets. Let's see. Okay. Replying to emails, scheduling meetings, etc. Informally. Uh, admin, maybe. So this is Fertile Crescent Feeder. That's the Tigris. I've been there. Interestingly enough, I've been where the Tigris and the Euphrates come together. Uh, statement you, the statement from somebody, see, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Come get your typing right, buddy. I'm not a scientist. Scientist, come on, get it straight. I usually do these on my phone, you know. So, um, frame. I don't know how that's coming together. Shocked reaction. Um, just the check. Just the check. It has a triangular blade. Okay, this is going to be any pay for all of my fellow. Just to check. I'm set, I guess. Abbreviation on a paper tray letter. Shocked reaction. It's probably a triple take. I don't know. I've had those before, though. Uh, like Staten Island on a New York subway, city subway map. It's going to be an inset. Nickname that can be a dimin diminutive of a family member. Tito. Tito. Okay. Uh, o uh, Oxford English Dictionary's Word of the Year in 2022 describing an unapologetically self-indulgent state. Um, Oxford English Dictionary's Word of the Year. Uh, apologetically. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, they may be held during the National Anthem. Hats? Um, I don't know. Campus Noob would be a frosh? Frosh, garlic, something garlic. If sign, if frosh is correct, smooths as silk. Irons, maybe. And quake, quake. Oh, don't know. Most common evening for Dateline NBC during its three-decade run. Um. Friday, maybe Friday. 
I don't, yeah, it's the only R. I mean, I'm just trying to see if, if Irons is correct. I'm always looking at that. Um, uh, seism? Se se seismic? Something? Uh, uh, okay, this is goblin mode. I, I'm thinking is what it is. Um... Yeah, this is getting ugly. Let's see. Get high. Let's say it's sore. Thinks of with buyer's remorse, say. They may be held during the national anthem. Okay, I know that. Alternative to a tulip glass, probably a flute. And... I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Garlic fries? I've never been there, so I don't know. Think, okay, ruse. He rude at that mistake because, you know, acquisition of top monopolies, a hotel, and um, snack crackers since 1921. Um, one crossing the line. Red State, Ohio. I always think of Pete Rose, gambler. Bubbly Chocolate Bar Brand. Bubbly Chocolate Bar Brand. Bubbly Chocolate Bar Brand. I don't know. These look like they're going to be cheese it so. so let's go with cheese its and I'm not sure if I'm spelling that correct. Um, brims? Like a brown one crossing the line. Oh, a scab. Scab. It's a union thing. Got it. Um, I don't know what this bubbly chocolate bar brand is. Uh, publicity of a sort. Uh, airtime? Who no, don't know? Oh, is this an arrow bar? I have no idea what that is. Let's go here. We got gives a leg up boosts. Yeah, I guess an arrow bar. I've never seen a whole an arrow bar either. A holiday cheer. Ho ho ho. Giving sort, probably a donor. Um, legacy competitor. Grand totals, probably gonna be some. Sure, uh, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh, spell it right. Good Lord, Christopher. Get your stuff together. Um, let's see. Oh, Sonata, Hyundai, Hyundai, or however you say it. Forged, foraged delicacies. Those are morals, I think, morels. So this would be at all shorthand for unnamed co-authors. At all, at Hollis. And yes, uh, Macaulay's uh, Lays of Ancient Rome. Did we get it today? Did we get it done? Let's find out. Okay, so we we were so close. So I don't even like to mess around with it. Let's just find out. Let's see. So let's check our puzzle. Um, check the puzzle, please. Yeah, check anyway. I don't care about no street. Oh, frame rate. Yeah, I just misspelled Artie. You are probably watching that when I did it and said, oh, he's going to get it wrong. But not bad for Saturday. But I'm starting to get a little skeptical about the ease with which we're able to solve these. I'm thinking that they're just giving us an easy week. Probably going to start the next week, i.e. tomorrow with a tough one. We'll see what we got. Anyway, um, glad you were here to help me uh, solve this grid. I had fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers.